right sir not only have they participated they have given some valuable suggestions and also passionately been involved in this debate sir and i would like to remind the house 20 years back if you would have seen any civil aviation topic that has been discussed in the house the participants were mainly coming from technical background or they were coming from these major metropolitan cities where the presence of airports has been maximum but yesterday if you had witnessed the debate for 5 hours we have seen from the length and breadth of this country from the remotest areas of this country from the most backward areas of this country people have passionately honorable members have spoken on this bill and that is the change this government has brought in and the honorable prime minister narendra modi ji has brought in to the civil aviation sir civil aviation has witnessed un imaginable growth in the last 10 years since modi ji has taken charge as the prime minister of the country he had a special focus he had a special vision for the civil aviation industry and because of which he understood the importance of improving the infrastructure in civil aviation that is why what was 74 airports in 2014 has gone up to 157 airports more than doubled in this country today sir and if you look at this of my intention to move the following motion during the current session of lok sabha that the wf amendment bill 2024 be referred to a joint committee of the houses consisting of following 21 members from this house serial number 1 shri jagdampika pal 2 dr nishikant dube 3 shri tejaswi surya 4 shrimati aprajita sarangi 5 shri sanjay jaiswal Six, Sri Dilip Saikia. Seven, Sri Abhijit Gangaopadhyay. Eight, Sri Muti D K Aruna. Nine, Sri Gaurav Gogoi. Ten, Sri Imran Masood. Eleven, Sri Muhammad Javed. Twelve, Sri Maulana Mohibud Mohibulla. Thirteen, Sri Kalyan Benerji. Fourteen, Sri A Raja. Fifteen. Sri Lavu, Sri Krishna, Devarayalu, sixteen, Sri Dileshwar Kamait, seventeen, Sri Arvind Savant, twenty, Sri Orun Bharti, twenty-one, Sri Asauddin Oasi, and ten members from Rajya Sabha. That in order to constitute a sitting of the Joint Committee of Quorum shall be one third of the total number of members of the Joint Committee. that the committee shall make a report to this house by the last day of the first week of the next session that in other respects the rules of procedure of this house relating to the parliamentary committee shall apply with such variations and modifications as the speaker may make and that this house recommends to rajya sabha that rajya sabha do join the said joint committee and communicate to this house names of the members to be appointed by rajya sabha to the joint committee i have obtained the consent of the members to serve in the committee